There is this news magazine in Switzerland. It's called 20 Minuten, which means like 20 minutes. It's the biggest daily newspaper in Switzerland. It's free. At the train stations, at the bus stations, every morning there's this newspaper. Everybody in Switzerland reads it. And I was in it. <laughs> and everybody read it. I'm gonna show you the article and my feelings that I had with that. I'm gonna tell you that story. As you know, I was casting ESL Swiss. Somebody from 20 Minutes he wrote me on Twitter. He said, yeah, he would like to talk to me about eSports because I'm a caster for ESL, if that would be possible. And he also wrote something like, well, with your age <laughs> and you're having children, that's certainly special and he would love to talk to me about that. Of course, I was very nervous when I read it. I mean, who wouldn't be? This is so exciting. If the biggest, the biggest free newspaper of Switzerland asks you for an interview. It feels kind of crazy. No way I'm not going to give you the interview. It's hard because I've never done it before, but you have to go where it's hard because you learn most. So yeah, I prepared for that phone call. I did not know if he has bad intention or good intention, what the article would be about. And so we talk why I'm doing YouTube, how it started, what my goals are for YouTube. Uh, first I asked him, is it going to be an article about age? Is it gonna be an article that I'm too old to do that or so? And he said, no, 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 don't worry. Just wanna find out. But then again, it is special. You're a, a caster and you have children and, and how do you deal with that? I imagine because you're a gamer and I told him I'm not a gamer. Actually, I'm not a gamer. Commentating games does not make you a pro player. When you're a, a soccer commentator, that doesn't make you a soccer player. Of course, I know how to play, but I would say I'm a medium player. I'm not a like not like senpai. I'm co I commentate esport matches also here on my channel. He said, "Well, okay, I imagine that with your daughters, you play games." And then the loser has to do the dishes. And I said, well, that's a good story. But that's not how it is. <laughs> because they don't play the game. I'm gonna show you the article. It's in German, of course. I'm gonna translate. That morning, I couldn't wait to get up and get to those little boxes where you can get those free papers. Go to page 21 because I knew it would be on page 21 and read it. I took this picture. And while I took this picture, that was that young woman sitting in... Um, opposite of me and she looked at me taking the picture then she looked at the picture she looked at me and she didn't say a word probably she said yeah that's him but she didn't say a word that's how switzerland is it was such an exciting day and uh, now enough of the talk uh, let me actually show you that is the newspaper article where i was in and what it says is i'm going to translate for you the title is my children are very very proud of my esports hobby then it says, Chief Avalon is an expert in mobile gaming. He commentates Clash Royale uh, Swisscom Hero League. His videos were clicked more than a million times. And he has about 20,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And the funny thing is when I read this article, I didn't know it. I actually went to my YouTube page and checked if that with the 1 million clicks is actually true. And I was really surprised that it is true. My YouTube channel has 1 million clicks. Actually a bit more than 1 million clicks. In Switzerland, only in Switzerland of course, uh, he's one of the biggest content creators in terms of mobile esports. His area of expertise is the online strategy game Clash Royale. The reason for him being in the gaming community today, uh, it's... Because of his daughter. It's just because of her that this happened. Uh, she played on the mobile. She played mobile games. That's me basically. I said that. It says. And I thought it's very important. If you're an OG viewer, you know the story. But I'm still going to read it. So she was playing games on her mobile. And I thought. That's me. <laughs> it's important to know what she's doing there. And since then I became a passionate gamer and part of the bigger mobile gaming community. I also talked with him about how, uh, how I learned what a positive, supportive community it is. And that people that are not inside uh, the whole eSports and gaming community, how they really don't know how supportive and 
positive this whole community is. It's really amazing to be in there. And yeah, I can make a video or I can tell you if you're interested how the story went on because this is actually really short. She was playing and because of her I started with Clash of Clans. Uh, I became part of the community, part of uh, Clan Wars. I started making YouTube videos. I became a live streamer, started doing esports matches, commentated tournaments, and that's basically the story in short. But that's not in the article. <laughs> the article just says he's a passionate gamer. Clash Royale is the biggest esports title on the smartphone market. Supercell developed it and organizes international tournaments with prize money in the millions. <laughs> Since the publishing about three years ago of Clash Royale, it made about three billion dollars. Isn't that crazy? Three billion dollars. And that's reason enough for the Swisscom Hero League to have the game besides well-known esports titles like League of Legends. The game was revolutionary, Chief Avalon said. The hype was big and esports followed fast. He, that's me, <laughs> is a Hero League commentator. He studied computer science and does this as a hobby. It's not for the money. It's a, a hobby. And he said, that's me again. <laughs> Don't be confused. I want to build the esports community with Clash Royale. And I want to create a supportive, positive community. And then it says, and that's right here, right here, his children are not gamers, are not as passionate gamers as he is. But they see his hobby very positive. He says, that's me, my kids are very proud of me and what I do, says the father of four. So that's this news article. Isn't that amazing, guys? Isn't that totally amazing? Of course, everybody's seen it. But it's actually funny how people, they will not go, come to you directly and talk to you about it. At first, they're very reluctant uh, because it's a hobby. And then one after another for the next two weeks, it was really one after another, <laughs> talked to me about it. What was really amazing is I only got very positive feedbacks. Everybody, I mean, there were basically two things, two kind of questions. One question was, what is esports? What is that all about? Do they game on mobile devices or... or how does that work and what kind of, of game is this? So that was one kind of questions. And the other kind of question was basically, well, this is so amazing that you're doing this. It's not really a question, but they said, I, a lot of people came to me and said, hey, I'm also a gamer. And <laughs> I think it's so amazing that you're doing this. And that basically also fits the quote that I had here at the start of the show. Of course, it was something new for me to do a, a new step to give an interview and to be in that article. Um, I was very nervous, but afterwards it was a very good positive experience. It's very cool. I mean, not many people have been in that magazine. <laughs> it's very cool. If you haven't fallen asleep, please let me know what you think in the comments. I'm very curious for your comments. That's this story. The story I wanted to tell for a while now, how I came into the newspaper in Switzerland <laughs> on page 21 with a big picture, big picture. Please put a comment if you have any questions. By the way, I did not know the headline when I talked to him. He, he made the headline afterwards and I think it's a good headline. It just says the, the children are very proud of my hobby. And I think the whole article is very, very positive. Big thank, big thank you to him uh, who wrote this article. Let me have a quick drink here, my merch, by the way. <laughs> so we had the quote of the week. If you do what's easy, your life will be hard. If you do what's hard, your life will be easy. I think that also matches this interview. Giving your very first interview, and that was my very first interview with a newspaper. I mean, you have those doubts and then you just think of it. You have to take the next step because good things are always behind the fear. So you got to do it. And so I did it and uh, it, it was totally a positive and a good experience. And I'm really happy I did it.